Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you where to farm for legendary enemies using the loot lock method in Fallout 4's new DLC, Far Harbor. First place we're going is the Nucleus, which is located just next to Arcadia, and that is just south of Far Harbor. So you need to gain access to the Nucleus by doing a side quest for the Children of Adam, whatever they're called. Now once you get in, follow this pathway, and you'll come to a door that says Command Center, or nucleus command center set a hard save right outside the door and make sure that your auto saves are on so that when you go through the door the auto save will set on the other side once you get to the other side you will see yourself in this hallway with all these deadly traps and gun mounts on the walls destroy them if you don't have the light step perk that i have and you should find this colonel gutsy he should be legendary go ahead and destroy him and make sure he doesn't or does have the weapon or armor that you're actually looking for i'm gonna try to loot lock the explosive shotgun i've got the shotgun set all i need is the effect to be on explosive so what i'm gonna do here is load the auto save that i set right when i went through the door which you don't actually have to set and what that does is it changes the effect on the weapon see now i have the vats enhanced automatic combat shotgun shotgun but the thing about explosive effects and some of the effects is you don't always get them i tried to loot lock for a minute and the explosive effect never comes up and it should within the first 20 minutes this happens to certain people it happens to everybody actually for some people some spots don't work and some others do it's it's weird it's a weird sciencey thing behind loot locking i can't explain it nobody knows the exact rules of loot locking but it doesn't always work out the way you want it to so if it doesn't work out the way you want it to just move on i'm gonna go down this hallway make sure these guys aren't legendary but there is one other legend that sometimes spawns here that'll be the assaultron dominator sometimes it will spawn as a legendary and you'll know if it does if the colonel gutsy doesn't spawn as a legendary now once you pass through here this is where we're gonna come to the second legendary that we're gonna loot lock open the gate using the terminal here once you pass through you're gonna see this door behind the door is a legendary assaultron dominator so Open this door, pass through here, you're gonna see the switch. Right here you need to put down another hard save. Now the hard save is used to change the weapon or armor itself, not the effect. So once we have that set, we're gonna flip the switch, and right when you see that blue light on the left go, use your quick save and what this will do is when you load that quick save if you like the weapon or armor you can just load that quick save and that'll change the effect on that weapon or armor but if you don't like the weapon or armor you're gonna load the hard save not the quick save by the way all these robots explode so you want to keep your distance after they die sometimes they explode twice so i don't want this piece of armor what i'm going to do now is load that hard save this will take us back before we flip the switch and it will change the item so flip the switch again and when the blue light comes on put your quick save down you got to do that quick or else you'll be stuck with the effect that's on the weapon you won't be able to change it by loading that quick save so that is really important to do go ahead and keep killing this guy until he finally gives you what you want see i'm still getting armor pieces loot locking does take a long time so you're gonna be flipping switches a lot setting down the quick save a lot but eventually you will get something that you do want not a boxing glove but you will probably get a higher end weapon because this is a higher end enemy. I mostly get Gatling lasers and things like that. Here I get the lever action rifle with the penetrating effect on it. I wanted the lever action rifle because I've never seen it before so I thought it'd be cool to loot lock. So now that I have the weapon of choice, I'm going to change the effect that's on the weapon instead of the weapon itself. So load the quick save instead of the hard save. And now you're going to have the same weapon popping up, but with a different effect. And it really is that simple. I do get the two-shot lever action rifle, and I stick with that. The next spot is kind of complicated because it has everything to do with a quest, not a location. So finish the quest, safe passage. That'll lead us to the next quest where we need to talk to Teddy Wright and he will tell you to drop your meat in some water somewhere which sounds kind of weird but you'll start the quest rite of passage and you won't be able to find this location unless you're on the quest so you need to be on the quest 
and you won't be able to do it without the quest anyways when you get here you're gonna see that guy Dottie, and you're gonna drop your meat in the water all of a sudden all these dudes start spawning out of the river you're gonna drop a second piece of meat this time three enemies spawn one of them being legendary you need to not kill that legendary before you kill it put a hard save down and when you kill him you'll see that the queen marlurk in the distance pops up out of the water you need to be paying attention to that because you need to set your quick save right when she pops out of the water if it's too soon it won't work if it's too late it won't work so right when she pops out of the water set that quick save not even a second after like half a second after she pops out of the water and you'll be fine you're gonna need to play with this because it's not foolproof you need to get that timing perfect so go ahead and see what loot she has on her and just play with it now when you're not satisfied with what she has on her go ahead and load that hard save that you set you're gonna have to kill that dude again pay attention to the murder queen popping out of the water set your quick save blah 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 kill her again until she has something that you like in this case i'm gonna loot lock for the harpoon gun so i'm gonna go ahead and load that quick save instead of the hard save and now she will be carrying the harpoon gun but with a different effect on it each time that I load that quick save. I was unable to loot lock the first legendary that popped up by the way. I decided to loot lock for the explosive combat shotgun just to do it because it's a commonly asked question. People want to know if they can get the explosive shotgun at a lot of locations that I show. So I always show that it's possible. And by the way you can get it at every location that I'm showing in this video. The next farming spot is located at Kidridge Pass, which is just west of Arcadia. Now, this is one of the more simpler places to loot lock just because it's a simple cell with a loading screen before it. So place your hard save right before the entrance. Make sure you place that hard save too because you'll be heartbroken to find out that you have to load a way earlier save just to get to this point in the game. Now once you pass through the entrance you're going to find yourself in this hallway which leads to a big open area full of feral ghouls. Go ahead and kill these dudes off. I've never found the legendary in this room but if you do that's cool for you but if not go ahead and go to the other side of the room you're going to find a pool area. Now this pool usually holds three ghouls one of them being legendary most of the time. This time he had nothing that I wanted so I'm going to go ahead and load that hard save that I placed outside and when I come back I find no legendaries in the pool. Luckily this isn't the last place to check for legendaries. Instead of taking a left toward the pool take a right and it's going to lead you to this T intersection with some bodies. Continue down to this hallway. It looks like there's nothing going on until you reach the end. That's when the ghouls start spawning in, one of them being legendary most of the time if you don't find the legendary at the pool. Now if it has nothing that you want, go ahead and load that hard save. This time when I came back I found a never ending radium rifle. I decided I wanted the explosive radium rifle because I got all excited and never seen a radium rifle and it's just like the combat rifle but does more radiation damage. So unknowingly I went ahead and got the explosive version even though it turns out that you can buy it from a vendor in town. Last spot on our list is Eagles Cove Tannery, which is just northwest of Kidridge Pass. And this spot is really nice. It's simple like Kidridge Pass. All you gotta do is set down the hard save before going through the load screen. And on the other side, you'll have your auto saves there so that you can change the effect on the weapon or armor that you're looking for. Now, when you first come in here, you're gonna come across a door that's locked. Go ahead and pick the lock. And the legendary actually spawns in this room about half the time. If not, just go ahead and kill these guys because now they're in your way. Move on to this big room where you're either going to find the legendary up on that catwalk or laying down on the ground over there. Or it's going to be downstairs and the stairs are actually just beyond the ghouls there. But these guys are higher end. They're going to put out more higher end weapons such as the Gatling laser or gauze rifle depending on your level. So definitely a favorited spot. It's going to make up for all the one shot deals that I've covered in the past videos in the Commonwealth. But it looks like Far Harbor is going to be putting out higher end enemies in a lot of these loot locking spots. But that's it for this spot. It's real simple. Higher end weapons and the loot 
loot locking works perfect. Hopefully you're not one of those people who can't loot lock for whatever reason. I will be covering a, another method for loot locking that will probably work for those kinds of people in a future video. Subscribe for future videos on Far Harbor loot locking spots and also I'm going to be covering more spots in the Commonwealth, the main story or map for Fallout 4. Leave a like if this helped. That will help my video out a lot. It needs the attention that it deserves. I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.